sorry for the abrupt end of the previous one, but what happened was is I uh, was going to, I, the, the mount it goes, we push it down as 0 0.0784, and I somehow turned it into 0 0.784. So I got the wrong answer. So we're going to just finish this problem up. Uh, if you push it down that much, remember it was down 0 0.784 to begin with. So the premise of the problem is if I push it down that much, how fast is it going when it goes fastest, when it's going back to its fastest spot? Well, the fastest spot is when it's going right to that middle section again where there's no net force on it. Okay? So I'm just going to do energy before because energy after. The only place I know where there's, how much energy is when I push it all the way down, right? That's going to be 1 half kx squared. That's going to equal uh, what, what kind of energy is going through the middle? It's got nothing but kinetic energy, right? So when it springs all the way down, it's all potential because it's in the spring. When it goes to the middle point, it's all going to be kinetic. 1 half mv squared. And so the halves cancel out. Uh, this is a thousand, I believe. Uh, X is point seven oh seven eight. If we do it twice, that would be just the epitome of fun. Uh, I believe the mass was eight, and this is v squared. Or there's a one half in front of what we, but I can't figure them out right. All right. So then I'm going to go. Hopefully, get some math right this time. Point oh seven eight four squared divided by eight to the point 0.5, and I get 0.877 meters per second. And that will be the answer, 0.877 meters per second. All right, so there you are.